Okay, I've been putting it off, but it's time to tackle this one. This is question 14 from homework 17, and it has been giving you guys fits. And it should not, because you've done everything in this question already in this homework. Sometimes almost exactly what you've done on this in a different question on the homework. So this is nothing new. It's just figuring out what they want and how to get there from what they give you. Okay? So they're telling us that the development of Astro World, the amusement park of the future, on the outskirts of a city will increase the city's population at the rate given below. And they're telling us that this rate is 5,100 times the square root of t plus 5,000. That's my rate. Your right rate might be different, but that happens to be my particular rate. Okay? And they're saying that that is a rate in people per year, t years after the start of construction. Okay? Uh, they're also telling us population before construction is 5, 000, or 57,000. Okay, so the population before construction, so that's at t equals zero, is going to be 57,000. All right, and what they want is the population four years after the construction of the park has begun. So they want us to find p of four. This is what we want, and this is what they've given us to find that. Okay? So the question is, what is this thing here? What is this rate that they gave us? Well, it's a rate that something is increasing, which is a rate of change. And if we think back to our first couple of days of learning derivatives, that's what a derivative is. A derivative is a rate of change. So this is the derivative of the population with respect to time. So this is how the population is changing as time goes on in years. So this here is p prime of t. Well, we want p of 4, right? We want to figure out what the population is four years after the construction starts. So it's probably going to help out if we find p of t first, right? So they give us p prime of t. Let's find p of t. And that's just going to be the integral of p prime of t. It's going to be the integral of 5,100 times the square root of t, I'm going to change that to t to the 1 half right now just to make it easier to work with, plus 5,000 dt because our variable that we're working with is a t here. Okay? So we want p of 4, but before we can get p of 4, we got to figure out what p is in the first place. So let's take this uh, integral. So the integral of 5,100 t to the 1 half that's going to be 5,100 t to the 3 halves. I'm adding 1 to my exponent, and then I'm putting that over 3 halves in the denominator. So whatever your exponent changed to, you're going to put that in the denominator, plus 5,000 t, all right, plus some constant c. We don't know what that is, but we have ways to figure that out. So we've got, we've got the rough idea here. Let's go ahead and simplify this, so that's going to give us, let's see, 5,100 times 2 thirds uh, times t to the 3 halves plus 5,000 t plus c. What I did is, I, to get rid of this fraction in the denominator, I'm just going to bring it up, flip it, and multiply. So that is going to give us, let's see, 51 divided by 3. My math is really off right now. That's going to be 17. So 1,700 times 2t to the 3 halves plus 5,000t plus c. All I'm doing is simplifying here. Right now I just kind of got rid of that, that 3, and now we multiply this times 2. So it looks like the function that we're looking for, our p of t, finally, once we get it all simplified down as much as we can, is going to be 3,400 times t to the 3 halves plus 5,000t plus c. Okay. Not too shabby. Uh, but what do we need now? We wanted p of t, and we've kind of got p of t, but we don't know what the c is. 
When we were doing initial value problems before, we were able to figure out what C is by solving for something. Well, what did they tell us way back at the beginning? They told us the population before construction, so the population at time zero, is equal to 57,000 people. Okay, well then let's just plug that into our function here. So what we want is for P of T, 34,000, we're going to do, or 3,400, um, we're just going to plug in zeros for each of the T's. And this is going to wind up being a very simple problem to solve. Uh, zero plus C, and that equals, when we plugged in zeros, we're supposed to have that equal to 57,000. So 57,000. Okay? Well, guess what? 3,400 times zero is zero. 5,000 times zero is zero. That just leaves us with C. So our C equals 5,700. Or <laughs> I can read numbers. It equals 57,000. Do what I write, not what I say. Okay. So our actual P of T now, P of T equals, well, what we found up here beforehand, that's still true, 3,400 times T to the 3 halves plus 5,000 T plus C, but instead of C now, we know that C equals 57,000, so we'll just plug in, oops, now do what I say, not what I write, 57,000. Okay. <laughs> I will get through this. I will get through this. And you will get through it too. Okay? So we've got P of T, but the question's not asking for P of T. They don't want that function. They want to know what P of 4 is. Well, you guys know how to find P of 4. You're just going to plug in a 4 everywhere there's a T. So 3,400 T, or not T, 4 to the 3 halves plus 5,000 times 4 plus 57,000, two, three zeros there. And if you plug all of that goodness into your calculator, you will find out that your answer is going to be 104,200 people, okay? And that's P of four, and that's the answer that they're looking for. All right, so let's walk through this one again. This is complicated enough that it bears another walkthrough. Okay. So they gave us a rate at the beginning that we realized, because we know what code words for derivatives are, that this rate of change was just the derivative function for our population function. So it was p prime of t equals what they gave us here. They also told us that population before construction started was 57,000. So population at time zero is 57,000. What they wanted us to find is what the population was four years after construction started. So to find P of four, first we have to find P of T, all right? But we have this, this derivative here, and if we know what the derivative of P of T is, we can just take the integral of that, and it's going to give us the derivative, or it's gonna give us the answer that we're looking for. It's gonna give us our original function back. So P of T, which is what we're looking for right now, this is the step before we can find P of four, is just gonna be the integral of the function that they gave us. All right, so here's the integral. We do all of our integration techniques. We simplify, we simplify, we simplify, and we end up with this here, which is P of T, except we don't know what C is yet. We need to figure out exactly what C is. To figure out exactly what C is, we have to remember that they told us in the beginning that P of zero is equal to 57,000, okay? So then I just take what I found here, plug in zeros, and set it equal to 57,000. When I do that and solve for C, I see that my C is just 57,000. That does not always happen. You do need to plug in to make sure that it's going to happen. Because if they had said population at year two equals 57,000, then you would have had something very different over here. But in this case, it just happened to be that they were talking about the population before things started, so we wind up with our C equaling 57,000. So that tells us that P of T is exactly what we found here, except instead of a C, we're just plugging in our 57,000, okay? So, almost there. Last, last final step, they don't care what P of T is. What they want is P of four. So you're just going to plug in 
for everywhere there was a T, plug it into your calculator, solve, and that's going to uh, give you the answer that they're looking for. Now, in your case, your rate could be different. Your initial population could be different. The year they're looking for could be different. So you may have to plug in different things, but as long as you plug them in at the right step, you're going to get the right answer. And that is the infamous Astro World question number 14 from homework 17.